Hello and welcome to the XSharp Academy channel. The goal of this video is to show you how to create a simple XSharp application using Visual Studio 2017. In Visual Studio, in order to create an application, we will have to create a project. This will create the corresponding solution. So first, let's go to File, New, Project. In the dialog, we now have the ability to choose the language we want to use to create our application. So I will choose XSharp. When XSharp is selected, I can see on the right the different templates that the XSharp is providing in order to create an application. You can see that we can have several dialects in order to create an application, but we will have more information later about this. So I can choose a console application. If so, it will be developed using the core dialect, which is a pure .NET X-based dialect. I can choose a FoxPro console application, so the FoxPro dialect will be used. So I can, for example, use untype uh, variables, which is uh, the kind of things that FoxPro uh, will expect. And I can also create a VO, a Visual Objects a console application, respecting the, the specification of the visual object language. For now, I will start with a simple console application. Let's keep the default name that uh, Visual Studio is providing and create a project. Okay, so now the project has been created. So I can see in the Solution Explorer my project with currently a single file, which is the program.prg. And on the left, I have the default source that the template is providing in order to create my basic uh, application. You can see here that we are using XBase keywords and some .NET element because the core dialect is a mix of both. We have XBase in .NET environment. I can use some services of Visual Studio so I have some information about different elements that I have in the screen. And we can also use some IntelliSense services, but we will see a little bit more further. So I can now start my application. Visual Studio will compile the application using the XSharp compiler and then run it in the console window. Okay, so my application is now running in the console window, the terminal window, and I have the result that I was expecting. Okay, so if I want to add some code to this application, I just have to edit the source uh, in the editor window. As I'm using XSharp, the syntax of, for example, basic structures of the language are respecting the XBase syntax. So if I need to use a local variable, I will have to declare it. I must declare it because I'm using the core dialect. 
and I cannot use undeclare uh, element using this dialect. So I will declare a local var. And you can see that as I'm typing, IntelliSense is providing me some help in order to automatically complete uh, the statement I'm typing. So I want to declare a counter. This counter is currently declared as usual. I want to type it as an int. Okay. And if I want to use this counter in a for loop, I will just like in any XBase language, specify that this counter will count from 1 to 10. You can see that in X Sharp, just like in Visual Object, the assignment operator is colon equal. In order to use a simple equal, we will have to change the dialect. The core dialect is only using colon equal as an assignment operator. So, from then I can use a console statement and if I press the dot, IntelliSense is providing me the list of properties or methods or event that the console application is able to use. So I want to write line the value of counter sorry so I can concatenate my string with the counter that I will turn to sorry turn to string Again, you can see that when I have an object in the core dialect, the selector is a colon. That's why I have counter, colon, and then the call of the toString method. When I'm using a class which has some static method, let's say function member, I will have to use the dot as a selector. Okay, so let's compile again and see what's happening. Okay, so now I have all the different values of my counter that are printed to the console application. So what's next? Well, you can put some command and you can use any of the standard XBase structure that you know. So like while or why not some test statement with if or else. And an end if at the end of the block, just like in any XBase dialect. Okay, so this is the end of this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will come back later to see uh, XSharp Academy channel. Bye.